Guys, can you hear us? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Everybody got recording that needs recording? Can I please, Max? Sort it out, Anton. Anton, are you going you to kick us off if that's okay? Absolutely fine. Nuno, how are you? It's nice to see you. Um, look, obviously, with every day that passes, the situation during the pandemic, the COVID-19 situation, seems to get worse in the country. Are you concerned that football may have to stop at some point? I'm mainly concerned of the situation that we are living as a society that we cannot uh, move forward and and go back to, to a normal situation. The virus and the pandemic is affecting uh, a lot. Um, the increase of the of cases is growing in a scary, scary way. This is what is is my main concern. But in regards to football, um, I think things have changed. I think uh, the moment well, almost a year ago we we are we were stopping because we didn't know what was happening. The the, the virus was something that we never uh, had experienced. We didn't know what can provoke, what can cause. So it was a, a little, a lot of of uh, doubts. Now after the restart, uh, I think everybody made a big effort to to go again to football um, under the circumstances that we are. And um, there were protocols, there were meetings, there were decisions, things have changed inside of decisions. Um, we were uh, unsure that no matter what we were playing, um, because we only need 14 players available to, to, to play a match, now things have changed, uh, it's not happening. And now we start thinking about uh, stopping, stopping again. And um, I don't know. I don't know for sure uh, what is better. What I I think, and I'm afraid of, is um, if the decision is to stop uh, the football as we know now, will not will not be the same. Not be the same. Um, and this is my biggest fear because uh, the schedule will go crazy. Was it will be impossible to to even finish the league and think about the Euros. So what I feel in is that we, the, the, if we stop, everything will change. Uh, a new football will come, probably with the Super League, probably with other competitions. And then it will be a matter of um, which clubs will survive. So it's a tough decision to make. You say it's been a scary time. We don't see what happens at the football club for obvious reasons, but how difficult has it been for you, the players, the coaching staff during this pandemic? Extremely diff uh, difficult for all the managers, all the players, all, all the clubs. It's been, for everybody involved in the game, it's been very, very hard, um, very difficult to plan, always with, um, with the fear that uh, you prepare a match then you wait on result of a test. Can you use a player? Can you not use a player? Um, you're going to play a, a club that uh, has cases. Uh, are they able to 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 compete and 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 present a, a good team? All these things. So I think um, everybody has uh, has been trying trying hard, and um, I think all of us has a, a mission. Or the obligation, the moral obligation, to do our best to to keep on on going. Um, that doesn't say that we are insensible of what's what's happening around us. Um, it says that uh, I think this spirit is required in these moments. Um, if we go and complain about all the situations, the answer is is clear. So we stop. But uh, giving up now will have big, 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 uh, big impact on the future for sure. You talk about the consequences for clubs and for leagues. Is there anything you'd like to see happen 
in right now to potentially protect teams, protect clubs, protect leagues? I don't know. Honestly, Anton, it's it's it's, uh, it's much wider than than just a simple opinion. I'm I'm I, I'm aware, and I can see a lot of opinions coming from all over the um, the part in the game, managers, players, staff, uh, fans, broadcasters. Maybe it's the right moment to 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 get together and and try to hear all the voices, all the opinions, um, getting all the feelings um, from everybody, especially the players. How how are they? Um, how are they dealing? Um, the doubts that they have, uh, the fears. So we can make a good decisions. Um, if I come here and I give my own decision to you. Someone agrees, some someone don't don't agree, but I don't have a, a chance to to tell you the the why behind the, the opinion. So maybe it's the right moment uh, for everybody. Like we always, I think always in English football, did the, all the decisions were made with common sense and, um, and all the parts involved. So this is what I expect now, sooner than than later, a proper. Uh, meeting with all all the sectors in the game involved. There has been some good news, especially for Wolves over the last week. The club gave us updates on various players coming back from injury, including Raul Jimenez. How is he? How great is it to see him back uh, around the club a bit more? It's very good. It's very good to have Raul around. It's very good to see him improve. Mm. It's very nice to see him smile and and already doing some exercise in the gym um, and having the, the positive thought that he's going to return um, and join us. This is uh, what pleases me and everybody around the club the more that we are going to have a back. And Johnny as well is, a, is back in training. Um, no, how that's important not is true. It to that's not true. I say it's back. So, so not true. Um, there was an update on Johnny, though, positively again. There was a medical update that uh, I think was uh, was last week. Uh, Johnny still has, has is improving. He's doing really well. He's working very hard, but he still has time to 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 rejoin us again. We have Bobby out. We have Marcel out. We have uh, problems. We have problems that we'll, we'll try to find solutions for them. And you've said previously, obviously, it's that the hope the club does um, bring in players during the January, January transfer window. Um, are you hoping that will be this week? We made already the decision of recalling Patrick and Morgan. We still have time. The transfer window is open um, and we have to be ready for what can happen. Ins and outs, we always have to be. As long as the transfer window is open, we have, we have to be really... Uh, ready to react if that's the case, and uh, ready to to rebalance if you consider that you still still need uh, more options. An interesting game tomorrow night against Everton. They've had a good season. Um, what are you expecting from them? A very tough match. A very tough match. Um, Everton, the very good, very good squad. Fantastic manager. It's going to be very tough. Very tough. Um, going back to Molino is always good for us, and we want to compete well. We want to to keep um, improving and having a good game. Thank you, Nuno. Thank you, Jonathan. Have you got any questions? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Nuno. Um, you said there that that you have problems. <laughs> Clearly, you do injury wise. I just wonder. As a manager who famously has been able to select the same team during periods of your time in charge, is this one of the most challenging periods of your time at Wolves? For sure, for sure it is. For sure it is. Uh, um, we had we had seasons before that. I think in the first season of the Premier League, I think we made the same starting eleven. Ten times, I think so. That reflects a lot um, on wha- how we were before. Now it's a different situation, and we are ready for it. Uh, it's always demanding. 
to all the situations that's happening around us. Uh, this particular is very demanding for everybody. How much admiration do you have for Carlo Ancelotti, both in terms of his history in the game, but also what he's done in his short time at Everton so far? I have a big admiration uh, for Carlo. I, mean, I, mean, I, I know him personally and I admire and respect him a lot. And in terms of the way he's he's moved that team on, he's done well, hasn't he? Of course, he done well. Uh, he's done well. Um, he's a fantastic manager, uh, and with with very good players uh, in the squad, so um, uh, the conditions are are good, and that's why we expect a very tough a tough match tomorrow because we're going to face a, a very good opponent. Can I ask you about Leander Dendonka? He's had a lot of praise recently. How have you seen him improve as a player and how valuable now is he to your team? He's very valuable since the beginning. Since the beginning, he's a top player. Um, give us, gives us many, many things. Um, just talented. The, the distance that he and the spaces that he can fulfill in the pitch are, are very important for us. I'm very happy. And just one, one final one from me. You said earlier that this might be the right moment to get more people together to talk about the current situation. Um, I guess that would need some sort of... I mean, I mean, who would lead on that, Nuno? Who would you like to see leading more in this current situation? Big institutions, health, health, secure, health. Uh, I don't know what you could say. Health, public health, mm -hmm. public health, the Premier League, the broadcasters, the managers, the players, the, the, the press, the fans, anyone that can give a, a value and good opinion, um, I think it will be wise to, to get the general feeling of, and of everybody around the game. That's what I meant. But if he has to start, Premier League should give the first step and then try to get everybody involved. Um, Nuno, if I may, I, I want to be, make sure that I'm not misunderstanding what you said before. So uh, just to, to, to make it clear, uh, it sounded like you have a fear that the current situation, if the game was to stop, would be used almost as a cover or an excuse to make more radical changes and that sounded like that's something that concerns you that this situation would be used as a mechanism to do that and i don't no. want to misquote you is that what you mean no no you miss no, it's totally no. it's not an excuse and it's not a um an opportunity to change no it's just the, the realization of you just start thinking about the the time frame that you have until the, the end of the season and you engage with the euros and uh it's impossible. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. Sure. Impossible. If we repeat the same stoppage time that was before, it would be impossible. And what uh, what I meant regarding the future is not like an excuse or an opportunity for nothing. Is the just uh, the my own or my personal view that as uh, when I have awareness of what's going around, probably. Mm -hmm not find the same the same model that we are now i see uh, uh, do, do you understand or? yes yes i understand yeah because presumably if obviously if, if you had to stop or if the game stopped a one or two week stoppage isn't realistic is it because you'd have to presumably have all the players isolate and then pick up their fitness again so uh, there would be a minimum period is that yes, reasonable yes. To that was that that was the considerations when, when we stopped the first time sure identify that the time that we stop requires the time for the preparation after it's equal mm. so if you stop x weeks you need x weeks to restart right so that's not only the moment that you stop it's all, all together and mm. um, basically my opinion is is, is 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 based on what is the economy of the clubs uh, the idea that you start feeling that's coming around with other competitions probably emerging um, basically because uh, uh, the industry needs to find ways to survive and to move forward 
So. And this is greater than individual clubs. It, you, you, the, the, the game needs to act as one. Sorry? The, it, this is a bigger problem than just individual clubs. The game has to, be, has to consider its future as a whole rather than the best for each club. Of course, of course, of course. And, and, and based on what we have now, I don't see can be. It's only opinion. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Sure. It's only opinion. But uh, yeah. probably, uh, if you make a quick, a quick uh, comparison, what's happening in the economic industry, affect uh, all these things. If you have a crisis, then the strong will survive. All about the rest. Sure. In the Honestly. game, it's a. This is a pyramid, no? So if it, the problems will, will start coming from, from up, from down, and will affect as the same as I mentioned to you in the regarding of developing of young players. The gap that is happening in now will have a reflection on the future. Everybody is aware of that. If you are uh, young boys that, uh, in a week basis, they, they work, uh, 15 hours a week now they are not working they are not training they are not playing football you start multiplicating by the weeks that this is not happening i think it's clear no indeed yes thank you okay i think that's it for broadcast so people okay. can switch